Good morning, and welcome to the Church by the Sea virtual service. Our church has for several years said that we are on a journey, and the virus has called us to continue that journey and find new and creative ways to connect with one another. We are reaching out to all of our members that we have information about, but it will take time. In an effort to communicate and connect, we are using our website, Facebook, Instagram, Zoom, and Twitter. If you don't have access to these platforms or you need assistance in using them, we have a team that can help you. And much like Vanna, if you look to your right and to your left of the website, you will find more and more information. We're updating it all the time. This week, we assisted at Bay Harbor Islands in setting up a hotline and responding to the needs of the most vulnerable in our community. If you are a senior, or you know someone that is, who is at high risk or has a high risk medical condition, please call the hotline or the church. If you are in another town and these circumstances apply, please email or call us. We will be checking the phone lines each and every day as well as our email. And in an effort to aid us through this time, experts say that we must take time to refresh our spirits. We must make sure that we don't spend too much time watching the news, that we eat well, that if we can, we exercise even in place, and that we also do things like consider during this Lenten season how we might get closer to God. And so in that way, we are offering online meditation, yoga class, music, prayers, sermons, church school, youth group, and soon spiritual discussions. There are a host of music and art classes that Harold DeKino, our music minister, has put together featuring voice and piano, music theory, and drama, and they all are being offered by our amazing choir. There is also a special creative movement class for young children featuring one of our former members, Jen Menino, and you are welcome to tune into any of these online or contact us if you need assistance. We are here. You are not walking through this experience alone. Remember that. And so now let us take a breath, or maybe another sip of coffee, and turn our attention to the spirit as we invite you all to listen to two members of our choir, Alexandra and Ray, as they sing for us the prayer. 